what annual payment that will discharge a debt of rupees 10,260 due in five years, the rate of interest being 4% per annum. It's a simple question, right? What will be the annual payment that can discharge a debt of what? Rupees 10,260 due in five years. You have to understand this word due here plays a very important role. Due in five years. This amount is due in five years. And the rate of interest, the reckoning rate of interest, meaning the current rate of interest is 4% per annum. Options given are 1850, 2000, 1750, 2050 and 1900. I'm sure many of you have got option E as the answer. Right, option E, 2050 as the answer. Because what you have simply done is 10260, if I have to give in 5 years, in 5 equal installments, I should divide by 5. So 10260 divided by 5. This gives you uh, 2052, 2052. Now, since no other option is close to 2052, you thought option E, 2050, which is very close, should be the answer. Absolute nonsense. If this is what you have done, please get your basics right. This calculation will not work. And for this, you will not be awarded one mark in the exam. If you just have to divide the given amount by 5 to get the answer, you are under a wrong impression. Absolute nonsense. You got to understand this whole concept. That's the reason I said this is due in five years. The word due is important. Okay. So what does it mean? What annual payment, meaning what equal payments every year that you make will discharge, discharge meaning will cover a debt of 10,260. Meaning you have 10,260 rupees taken from someone and you're supposed to give it back in five years. After five years. You understand? Today you have borrowed, you will give it back in five years. The rate of interest being 4% per annum. The rate of interest being 4. This is the current rate of interest or what is called the reckoning rate of interest, right? So the rate of interest is 4 percentage per annum. The amount that you have borrowed, which is due on you, is 10,260. And this is to be given after five years. So what should be the equal installment? What should be the equal installment? Now, understand the concept that in this case, if I pay certain amount, let's say if I pay 2,000 rupees at the end of first year, I have to pay for five times, right? I'll pay five installment basically. If it is due in five years, I'll pay five installments, right? So there's a timeline. This is the zeroth year. This is when I have borrowed. I have borrowed how much? 10,260. I'm supposed to give it after five years. So this is first year, second year, third year, fourth year, and fifth year, right? First year, second year, third year, fourth year, and fifth year. So what came to me in the at this point of time is 10,260. I'll pay it back in five installments. So this is outgoing. This is incoming. This is outgoing in five installments, five equal installments. Let's say I pay an amount of, uh, you know, I, I pay E every year, equal amount every year. The point to be noted is the rate of interest is 4 percentage per annum, 4 percentage per annum. The current rate of interest is 4 percent per annum. And, and by the way, also understand that 10,260 is due in five years, meaning I am supposed to pay this 10,260 at this point after five years. Here, basically 10,260, the total amount of 10,260 is to be returned at the end of fifth year. Not that I have borrowed now, whether I have borrowed now or in the past, whatever, I have to return 10,260 at the end of five years. So instead of paying Instead of paying 10,260 in one shot at the end of five years, I'll pay equal installments every year. The point to be noted here is whatever amount I have paid at the end of first year. See, I was supposed to pay the total amount after five years at this point, at the end of fifth year. I paid some portion in the first year itself. Now, this amount E will attract interest for four years. Instead of giving this to the you know lender, I am the borrower. I am the borrower. I will give E rupees to the lender. But the point is, instead of giving you, instead of giving the amount to the lender, if I keep the same amount in bank, the bank will pay me 4 percentage per year for the next 4 years. 1, 2, 3, 4. That means this E will get interest for how many years? It will attract interest for 4 years. Yes or no? If I put in the bank. So what I will tell the lender is, Baba, I am giving you some amount in advance. And whatever interest I get in 4 years, that interest should be adjusted in my principal amount. Similarly, I'll give another installment at the end of second year. But then this installment that I'm giving at the end of second year will attract interest for three years, one, two, and three. 
See, the first installment attracted interest for four years. One, two, three, and four. The second installment, this second installment of E, will attract interest for how many years? Three years. One, two, and three. These three periods. Which means if I keep this amount in the bank today, at this point of time, for the next three years, the bank will pay me four percentage per annum. So I'll get interest for four, three years. So you should adjust this interest amount also in your principal amount, right? You can't say this is given only towards the principal. Whatever interest I acquire in three years should be adjusted in the principal amount. Similarly, this interest, this, this equated installment that I've paid at the end of three years will get me interest for two years. I'll get interest for two years on this, in this year and in this year. This installment, the fourth installment that I pay, will get interest in the fifth year, right? I am paying you at the end of four years, in, at the end of fourth year, but from... In the, in the fifth year period, instead of giving it to you, if I had put this in the bank, the bank would have paid me one interest. One interest meaning interest for one year. So why are you not adjusting it? Huh, the last installment that I pay, to you, pay you will not attract any interest. Why will it not attract any interest? Because you were anyway supposed to give me the amount at this point of time. You're not doing me a favor by giving this installment. I did a favor by giving the first four installments because those attracted interest. So you should cover this interest also. So you understand, each tick mark here indicates the interest that I'm getting. You're able to follow. The fifth one will not get any interest. So that's the concept of discharging a debt. What you're doing in this case, 10,260 by 5 is dividing 2050. But this is foolishness. If you are paying your amount back in this fashion, you are a fool. Because this 2050, if I give in the first year, right, it will give me interest for four years. And that interest you've forgotten. Stupidity. Similarly, the same 2015 in the second year, if you give to the person, three years interest, you've forgotten. So I will not consider this as the value. I will pay lesser. So what is that actual amount is a question here. What is that actual amount is a question here. So one way to solve this, I mean, this is the concept. What I've explained to you so far is the concept. I'm sure all of you have understood that 2050 cannot be the answer. Answer should be less than 2050. Answer should be less than 2050. Now, how do you arrive at the actual answer is the question. One is use the formula, if you can remember the formula. What is the formula? The equated amount, the equated amount is going to be what? The equated amount is going to be 100 into the amount that you have borrowed, the principal amount, divided by, divided by 100 t, 100 t, which is t is the time period, plus r into t into t minus 1 by 2. You can use the formula. I mean, if I remember the formula correctly, this is what the formula is. So my equated installment should be 100 into P divided by 100 T plus R into T into T minus 1 by 2, where this is the principal amount. This T is the time period, 5 years. And rate is whatever, 4 percentage per annum. All three are given to you, just substitute and you'll get the answer. So that's how you use the formula. But then let's say you don't remember the formula. You've forgotten the formula in the exam and you want to solve it. How will you solve it? This concept is known to you, right? That's the reason the formula is not important. More than the formula, what happens behind the formula is important. And what happens behind the formula is this. So if you observe, how will I do the calculation? I have to adjust 10,250. I have to discharge 10,260. So this 10,260 is equal to, look at this, E plus, how many times will this get the interest? Four times. One, two, three, four times, right? Four times. Four years, basically. This E will attract interest for four years. That's what we have done, right? Four years. How much per year? Four percentage per year. So four into four, 16 percentage. Every year I'll get four percentage. So four into four, 16 percentage. 16 percentage of what? E. This is what actually is the total worth of what I pay in the first year. What I actually pay is only E. But it's worth over a period of five years will become E plus 16 percent of E. Plus, what happens? Second installment, E. The second installment will get interest for how many years? Three years. One, two, and three. 3 years, each year 4 percentage, so in 3 years 12 percentage, 12 percent of E. Plus, third installment, E, it will get interest only for 2 years, 8 percentage, 8 percent of E. Plus, fourth installment, E, it will get interest for how many years? Only two year, uh, only one year, right? Fourth installment will get interest only for one year. How much is that? 4 percentage. In one year, I will get only 4 percentage of E. And the fifth installment is just E. I will not get any interest here. So, 10,260 is equal to this, E plus E plus E plus E plus E, 5E. So 10,260 is equal to 5E. All those E's have been considered. Now add the total interest. 16% plus 12%, 28% plus 8%, 36% plus 4%, 40%. So 5E plus 40% of E. 40% of E is like 0.4E. So basically, 
10,260 is equal to 5.4 E. So the equated installment, yearly installment will be 10,260 divided by 5.4. Calculation is your lookout. It comes out to be 1,900 rupees. Remember, look at the difference. Here you divide by 5. Those who did 10,260 by 5, they divide into 5 parts. But here we are dividing into 5.4 parts. I'll attract a lot of interest, right? So my per installment value comes down. So it's not 2050, it's 1900, which is option C, option C. Now, please do not go by the length of the explanation, right? Explanation took a lot of time because, of course, it was an explanation, right? When you solve it in the exam, either you'll use the formula, this is the formula, apply the formula if you can remember it. I usually don't advise learning the formula by heart, right? Let's assume you've forgotten the formula, do this calculation. This calculation wouldn't take so much of time. Because I wrote, wrote for all the five years separately, it has taken so much time. When you do it, you should just write 10,260 equals to 5e. Five installments, 5e. And understand, this 40 percentage calculation has to be done. This 40 percentage calculation is what is RT into T minus 1 by 2. How do you do this? First year, I'll get it for four years. Then three years. See, there are total five years, right? So in the first year, I'll get four interest on, after the first installment, I'll get interest for four years then three years, then two years, then one year. So four plus three plus two plus one. Four plus three plus two plus one is 10. 10 years, I'll get interest. 10 into four percentage per annum, 40 percentage. That's how you do it. So 5e plus 40 percentage, meaning 5.4. That's it. Let, let me change the value and explain this to you. For example, instead of five years, let's say, let me take a, use a different color pen to explain this to you. Instead of five years, let's say if it is six years, what happens? How will you do it? Same, if it is six years, it will be 6e plus, Understand, in the first year, uh, at the end of first year when I pay, I'll get interest for how many years? I'll get interest for five years. I'll get for five years. And then after that, it will decrease every year, right? So four plus three plus two plus one, till you get one. How much is that? Five plus four, nine plus three, 12 plus two, 14 plus one, 15. 15. 15 into how much per year? Four percentage per year. 15 into four percentage of E. 15 into four is 60, 60 percent of E. So six E plus 60 percent of E. This will be equal to 6.6 E. What is 6.6e? 6.6e is equal to whatever the total uh, to, uh, total principal amount is, 10,260. 10,260. That's it. So can you not do this calculation? Don't have to remember. You don't have to remember any formula. Just the simple calculation. 7e plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 into 1. 2 plus 1 into whatever the rate of interest is. What is this 4? This is 4 percentage coming from here. This 4 percentage has been used here. You understand? If it is 6, multiply by 6. If it is 4.5, multiply by 4.5. As simple as that. So don't have to remember the formula also. You don't have to remember the formula. Okay. 1900 option C is the answer.